There's nothing nicer than a homemade beef burger. You know exactly what goes into it, and it just melts in the mouth when you eat it. I've got first quality minced beef here, so 500 grams into the bowl. Breadcrumbs are essential in a burger, but add too many and they'll be stodgy. I've just got 50 grams here, a medium onion that I've chopped really, really finely. If you're not good at chopping onion, you could always grate it. That's the basics. Now for some delicious extras, starting with three tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Now that really does bring out the flavor. And more punch from a tablespoon of rich sun-dried tomato paste and some chopped marjoram. This bright green adds to the color of my beef burger. To bind it all together, I'm going to have an egg yolk. There it is, going in. Lastly, some salt and pepper, then just dive in. I really like getting my hands in here. You know, you can feel when it gets together. And you know, if you've got a young family and they really love beef burgers, let them make their own. They'll love it, especially if they're allowed to get their hands in. So work that into a shape and divide it into six. It's a good tip to wet your hands before you shake them um, because it makes it that much easier. But gosh, it's not too difficult, is it? I mean, what I do is roll it into a ball and then flatten it out. And if some are a little bit bigger than others, people have different sized appetites. That's what I say when I make a mistake, because that one is a little bit bigger, isn't it? Now it's time to heat up my griddle pan and cook those beef burgers. Rather than putting the oil in the pan, I'm going to actually put the oil on the beef burgers. This way, the burgers won't stick and the oil won't burn. So lift each one with a fish slice into the pan and over. They're going to take two minutes each side when they're that thickness. A little bit longer if you want them really well done. But the big mistake with beef burgers is to overcook them. Don't forget to oil the other side before you flip them over. They've had their time, so just turn those out. Oh, they look good, don't they? And I've got plans for those gorgeous juices left in the pan. All the flavour from the beef burgers is there. That will go onto my bap. It'll be delicious. Just slide them along. Make sure all that gubbins is coming with the extra special brioche baps. It's browning nicely. It should take about a minute for your buns to take on the stripes of the griddle pan. And now it's an assembly job. It's all about the layers. First mayo, some lovely crisp lettuce, a juicy slice of tomato. We're getting there. Gosh, it's quite a mountain, isn't it? Last on is a slice of sweet pickled cucumber and top the whole lot off with a jaunty bun. Listen, they're crispy too. They look so tempting. So there are my beef burgers in all their glory, a real family classic. <laughs>